Hello everyone, it's Alexis here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to make this beautiful corsage for prom. You're first going to start by creating your bow. The bow is going to be like the base for your flowers to sit in. You're going to start by taking your one inch double sided satin ribbon and you're going to place the ribbon in between your thumb and your index finger. You're going to loop the ribbon around your thumb and then come out through the other side and create your first loop. You're then going to twist at the base to lock the loop in place and you're going to create another loop on the other side and you're just going to alternate back and forth until you have five loops on either side. It's really important to remember to twist and lock in your loops because you don't want your bow to fall apart. In my opinion, the hardest part of making a corsage is actually the bow. So if you can get past the bow part, you can definitely make a corsage. I do recommend re-watching this part of the video a couple of times just so that way you can really get down the technique of twisting and turning each loop. Once you have alternated and created five loops on either side of your bow, you're then going to take some really sharp scissors and give that a nice fresh cut. Now to hold your bow in place, you're going to take some of this wire and you're going to fish that wire through the center where your thumb is and this wire is now going to act as your thumb and hold the bow together. You're then going to take your index finger and you're going to just spin the wire around your finger and that is just going to help lock in the bow in place and it's just going to give it like a really tight hold. I then just like to fluff out my bow because right now it's kind of like tight and dense but I want this bow to be like nice and fluffy to fit on my wrist. So I'm actually filming this video at work today and I am creating real prom corsage orders for like girls who are actually going to prom. So I'm going to show you how to make two different corsage styles. So this first style on the velcro band that is going to be like a standard corsage. And then the next style that I'm going to be doing on the pearl band, that's going to be like an upgraded version. So today I am trying out this Fitz Design brand floral glue, and it's my first time working with it. And so far I really like it. Um, it's a really strong glue, and the best part about it is that it actually dries clear. So first you're going to start by folding in those metal clamps. And then you're going to add a dot of glue on either side of the clamps and that is where you're going to place your greens so for the standard corsage we are using fake greens and for the upgraded corsage we will be using real live greens i do recommend to hold whatever it is that you are trying to dry for at least like 15 to 30 seconds um, you just want to make sure that whatever it is that you are drying is like really stuck it's not going to move around. You would hate for it to fall apart on you. For the upgraded band, you're just going to want to take the two ribbons that come with the band and you're going to want to tie those off and kind of like double knot them. If you don't do this, the plastic part of the corsage band will actually come off. So you want to make sure that you do like a really good double knot to ensure that the plastic part will not remove itself. And then with a sharp pair of scissors, you're just going to want to snip off the excess ribbon. Now taking that design glue again, you're then going to just take the small leaves. And today we're going to be working with Salal. And you're going to want to place those leaves on the corners of the plastic band here. When you're placing the leaves, you want to make sure that you are placing them long ways onto the corsage band. Because you want your corsage to kind of like extend up your arm rather than come out on either side. So when you're working with the salal leaves, you want to make sure that you cut off the smallest leaves first. The smaller leaves make the corsage look more dainty. The big leaves make it feel bulky. You want to ensure that you're using a good amount of glue. I recommend like a dime size amount. And you really want to make sure that you are holding your leaves in place you don't want things to fall apart while you are designing. Once you have your leaves glued on, it's now time to add the bow. For the glue, you want to make sure that you're adding at least like a dime-sized amount. You really want to make sure that your bow does not fall apart, and the more glue, the better, honestly. I recommend holding this in place for at least a minute. 
For the upgraded band corsage, the same method still applies. You're still going to want to add like a decent amount of glue to both sides. Sometimes I even add glue to the bow itself and you just want to attach the bow to the base of the corsage band. And you really just want to make sure you hold that there for at least a minute because you want to make sure that everything is attached securely. time for the fun part, adding the flowers. So today I'm going to be using these spray roses today. They're essentially just like mini roses and they're perfect for corsages. So when you're choosing your spray roses, you want to make sure that they are nice and tight rather than really open because these corsages aren't being hydrated with any water. So you want to make sure that the roses you are using are tight and hydrated. When I'm placing my flowers, I like to think of them like a compass. So I like to place my north, south, east, and my west points, and then I put in like sometimes two to three flowers up in the top, and I'll show you what that looks like. When you're making your corsage, you want your flowers to extend vertically up your wrist rather than extending out horizontally. Once you have all four of your compass points placed in your corsage and glued in, you're then going to just take two blooms and place them at the top. These are just going to be placed within the bow. Now we're going to add some accent flowers to our corsage. So today I'm going to be working with this wax flower. And I prefer to use wax flower over baby's breath because it's a lot prettier. And the wax flower actually kind of smells like lemon. I'm just going to be gluing in the wax flower in any of the empty holes and spaces in my corsage. So wherever my eye stops, that's where I'm going to be adding a piece of wax flower. I want you to take note and notice that I'm really just breaking this wax flower up into little teeny tiny pieces. I don't want to add like an entire branch of wax flower to my corsage, just little accent pieces. And here she is, all done and complete. This is our standard corsage. For our upgraded corsage, we are going to use the same flower placement. We're going to work in a compass, so we are going to add our north, south, east, and our west points. Again, we want to make sure that we are keeping our corsage more narrow rather than have it come out to be wider on either side. So as I'm placing my flowers, I'm keeping that shape in mind. You want the corsage to be more oval shaped rather than square shaped. Once you have your four compass points glued and in place, you're then just going to add two roses to the top of your corsage. And these are going to just be on top facing more towards you. For our upgraded corsage, I'm going to be gluing in these little ranunculus pieces because I think these are really beautiful and I feel like this is just going to help take our corsage to the next level. I like to work in odd numbers, so as I place the ranunculus pieces, I'm just going to be using three of those today. And I'm also going to be spacing them out equally throughout my corsage. Now I'm going to be using two colors of wax flower today because the person who ordered these corsages, they wanted like pastel colors. So I'm going to be using this white and pink wax flower today. And like we did for the standard corsage, I'm just going to be placing this wax flower wherever I see empty spaces. It's way easier to use the wax flower in small pieces rather than working in big clumps. So definitely cut up your wax flower and work with tinier pieces. So to finish this corsage off, I'm just going to be adding in little pieces of glue delphinium. This is just going to help accentuate the fact that they want pastel colors in their corsage. Alright guys, and here is the finished corsage look. To make sure my corsage is going to last, I'm going to be spraying it with this crowning glory spray. This is just a flower preservative spray. And you're going to want to spray your flowers at least like three to four times. If you end up recreating this corsage for your prom, I would love to see your designs. You can email me at AlexisChristineFBA or DM me on Instagram at FlowersByAlexis. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!